Apple's insane new virtue signal. Mr. Reagan. All right, so the other day, I'm just scrolling through Twitter, minding my own business, like, you know, typical morning, trying to see what's going on politically, and I stumble upon this video, which is possibly the most cringe thing <laughs> I have ever seen come out of a corporation since the Bud Light Dylan Mulvaney fiasco. This was, ugh, it, it was, it's just, it's, ah, I couldn't, watching it kind of made me feel sick. So what was it? It's this video about, they've got this supernatural incarnation of Mother Nature. Of course, Mother Nature is a strong black woman, because that's, you know, all mystical, magical, interesting people have to be black these days. Not only a black woman, but a somewhat overweight black woman, of course, because Mother Nature couldn't possibly be healthy. What I find actually kind of, and this is just my own personal idea. I don't mind the concept of the incarnation of Mother Nature, uh, you know, in some kind of a fictional project. I don't mind that. I think that's actually a fine idea. But I just want to make the, the note that, of course, they wouldn't create any kind of like positive incarnation of the Christian God. They couldn't possibly do that or any kind of positive incarnation of anything related to that. No, no, no. no. They've got to they, they've got to steer clear of that. Christianity, Christianity is that's that's uh, that's too controversial. No, no, no. We've got to if any if any kind of supernatural entity is going to be depicted positively, it's got to be, you know, something completely unrelated to the religion of Western civilization. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, if you haven't picked up a Trump mugshot coffee mug or t shirt or something like that, be sure to visit my Teespring. I worked hard on that design. I think it's particularly beautiful. And actually, a lot of people get complimented on that. My brother has worn it around and people have gone up to him and been like, that is the coolest shirt I've ever seen. Okay, maybe not people, maybe one woman, but still, I feel like lots of people were thinking it. Anyway, listen, I, I think that it kind of makes sense that Apple would put this kind of branding out, like, you know, Mother Nature, the environment, we're being, you know, we're being super environmental and clean and good and like low carbon emissions and all that kind of crap. Because so many people in the world have been brainwashed into believing that carbon dioxide is bad and companies have to become zero emission and carbon neutral and all this BS. And so actually, I think that what he's doing, what they're doing over there in Apple is pretty smart because conservatives aren't going to be like, well, I'm not going to buy Apple products anymore. I mean, Apple products are just too gosh darn good. And leftists, well, they're going to say, you know what? We love Apple. Forget Android. Forget any of the other competitors. We're going with Apple because Apple gets it. They're green. The problem, of course, is that this ad is terrible. Here's a clip. This building is carbon neutral? Oh, yeah, we, we do it with a mix of clean energy and eliminating greenhouse emissions. It's kind of like if you were to... Uh... You're seriously explaining carbon neutrality to Mother Nature? Right. No, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. Look, I want to go through this whole video and break it down for you guys. But first, of course, I have to sell you something. Do you want to take control of your financial future, but you don't know where to start? Noble Gold Investments understands. Investing in precious metals may sound confusing, but the team at Noble Gold Investments, they make it easy. Let's hear from some actual Noble Gold Investments customers. One customer says, the staff answered all my questions and helped me every step of the way. Another says, no pressure sales tactics, just honest guidance. And finally, securing my future is less stressful thanks to Noble Gold's expertise. So look, don't settle for financial uncertainty. They will suggest options and see if you can diversify into gold and silver. Right now, Noble Gold Investments is offering a free five ounce silver America the Beautiful bullion coin for qualified accounts. Don't settle for financial uncertainty. Noble Gold Investments has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and countless five-star reviews. Why wait? Go to noblegoldinvestments.com right now, noblegoldinvestments.com, the only gold company that I trust. Oh, welcome to Apple. Welcome to Apple. Hi, I'm Tim. How is the weather coming? Hi, I'm Tim. I'm going to do the offices already carbon neutral, right? Yeah, all yours. First of all, what a beautifully diverse set of staff members. Does the Apple room actually look like that in one of those meetings? Probably not, but you know, that, that's what it looks like for this ad. And then of course they get this weird rainbow art that I assume that they have somewhere on the Apple campus to include the, you know, 
homosexual community. More virtue signaling within the virtue signaling. It's lovely, isn't it? I hope we didn't keep you waiting. Mother Nature. <laughs> Mother Nature, welcome to Apple. How, how was the weather getting in? Now, I have to say, throughout this video, Tim Cook is actually a surprisingly good actor. I mean, in this ad, he is just as authentically dry and stiff as he is in real life. Oh, that was a joke. Uh, although he is actually not, he's a lot better than I thought, because I've worked with a lot of people who are not actors, uh, who think, oh, yeah, I can, I can act, no big deal. No, they cannot. But T Tim Cook's actually kind of good, which is weird. He doesn't have the most charisma in the world, so <laughs> even though he's playing himself, I think, relatively authentically, uh, it still doesn't play particularly well, I don't think. But uh, anyway, let's keep watching. The weather was however I wanted it to be. Let's cut to the chase. In 2020, you promised to bring Apple's entire carbon footprint to zero by 2030. Henry David Thoreau over here said we have a profound opportunity to build a more sustainable future for the planet we share. I think our 10 o'clock said the same thing. They all do. Now, of course, they make her this like sassy, no nonsense black woman that's going to, you know, it doesn't take any crap from anybody. She will not be disrespected. This kind of uh, attitude, this kind of character. Very common cliche character for a heavy set black woman. I don't know why this has kind of become the standard in the media. I imagine that uh, big boned black chicks probably come in a variety of character types in the world. So I'm not sure why this seems to be the only one ever depicted in fiction. Uh, seems a little racist to me, left leftists, the left, lefties, whatever. Anyway, I'm addressing you people who make Hollywood projects. And uh, yeah, let's maybe create a little bit of variety in our fat black chicks, okay? All right. This is my third corporate responsibility gig today. So who wants to disappoint me first? Well, we've got some updates we are excited to share with you. Materials, status. Is there a materials person here? Yes. We are in the process of eliminating all plastic from our packaging by the end Let of- Let me guess, 50 years from now when someone else is left holding the bag? By the end of next year, actually. When we're also currently using 100% recycled aluminum in the enclosures of all our MacBooks, Apple TVs, Apple Watch. What about iPod Shuffle? The, well, I don't, I don't know. It's a joke. Don't you people make Ted Lasso? Okay, so <laughs> I've actually been on set with this actress. She's considered to be a great actress. She is not a great actress, okay? She, she's not even a good actress. I don't really understand. I think she was in one movie where she was acclaimed, and now she's like in everything. Uh, let me tell you, this woman is a nightmare to work with. She, I think, I'm not sure if she drinks or not, but she acts drunk basically all the time. I don't know if that's like a low IQ thing or what, but she is a nightmare to work with. So when I, when I was on set with her, uh, we were working at a hotel and it was a working hotel. They like hadn't closed it. We just had taken like one corner of it. The crew had taken one corner of it. And uh, so there were people walking around in the, like in, at the hotel, still going about their business like normal. And that's actually a very unusual thing for a Hollywood film. Hollywood films usually shut down the whole place. I don't really know why they did that, but whatever. Maybe it was a cost-cutting measure. But anyway, so people were actually going in and out of the hotel. But so when she would get on uh, on screen, when she had her scene, she messed up her lines every time, like 10 times in a row, something like that. And so eventually, instead of saying like, I'm sorry, guys, you know, I, I, I did prepare or maybe I didn't prepare enough or whatever it is. Uh, but, you know, for whatever reason, I messed up my lines. I'll, I'll work on it. I'll get it right. Give me a second. Something like that. Instead of taking a second and like sorting herself out, she starts screaming at the crew, screaming that the background actors doing crosses uh, in her eye line was distracting her. She starts complaining that the people that are in the hotel moving around, going about their normal business, they're distracting her. And so this is why she's forgetting her lines. <laughs> okay, come on. That's not why you're forgetting your lines. You obviously didn't prepare or you're an idiot, one of the two. Don't be blaming all these other people. So what that we ended up having to do is put a whole curtain up 
between her and the rest of the hotel so she wasn't distracted by anybody. They had to take the background actors and be like, okay, you guys are all going to do your crosses and work, you know, closer to camera or over here or whatever, out of the line of sight of this woman. So there was nothing in her line of sight that could possibly move and distract her. This was obviously a lie. She was just saying this because she was embarrassed that she was like messing up and she didn't want to take the blame. It was the most pathetic, weak thing I've ever seen on a set. Well, maybe not the most pathetic and weak, but it was not great. Anyway, so I got like a sort of thing with her. Now, I only worked with her once for one day. I, I don't know. I haven't seen her since. I, I've not seen her in other stuff. Maybe she's a lovely person. I don't know. But she seemed like kind of like a royal pain in the neck uh, the one time that I actually worked with her. Oh, that's a different group. Um, we're also phasing out leather in our iPhone cases. What about Brando over there? They phasing you out too? Oh. They're phasing out leather in their iPhone cases? This is supposed to like appease Mother Nature? What the hell does nature care if you're using leather in your iPhone case? Because you have to be a vegan or something like that? I don't, what the hell? So are wolves going to have to stop eating baby uh, deer? Like because... You're not allowed to like kill an animal anymore. I don't understand. Like nature is all about killing and being born and death and rejuvenation. That's the whole, that's what nature is. Have you ever seen the Lion King, the circle of life? There's nothing wrong with leather, you idiots. And of course she uh, calls this guy Brando and that's supposed to be funny or something like that. This writing is terrible. What's next? Electricity. Electricity status. Uh, uh, we're operating on 100% clean electricity. What runs on 100% clean electricity? You know, I just noticed. She's wearing a leather belt. Why is she complaining about that guy wearing a leather jacket? You're wearing a leather belt. All right, somebody didn't think through that wardrobe choice. Think clean electricity. Every Apple office, store, and data center runs on clean electricity thanks to you and your powerful wind and, and sun. Mm. And Apple offices are already carbon neutral. Yeah. This building is carbon neutral? Clean electricity isn't clean. Okay, all, all, the, all that goes into producing solar panels and wind turbines does some degree or another of damage to the environment. So this is an obvious lie. But, you know, again, it's a virtue signal. So they want everybody to think that they're, you know, magically perfect. Well, yeah, we, we do it with a mix of clean energy and eliminating greenhouse emissions. It's kind of like if you were to... Uh... You're seriously explaining carbon neutrality to Mother Nature? Right, no, I'm sorry. Again, the strong, sassy black woman puts the man in his place. Tell me how photosynthesis works, too. Don't. Um, also, over 300 suppliers have committed to using 100% clean, renewable electricity. What's next? Transportation. I'm proud to report that we're shipping more products by ocean rather than air, which reduces transportation emissions by 95%. It's great that they got like a, an apparently straight white guy in this, but of course he's the one with the leather jacket that they criticize for wearing the skin of a cow or something. I don't know. Actually, he might be like Persian or something. It's hard to tell. It's nice that they picked, if he is white, it's nice that they picked somebody who's like slightly ethnically ambiguous. So you're not 100% sure. Is he a Latino? Is he Iranian? Nobody really knows because you know what? At Apple, we would never hire a straight white guy who was clearly a straight white guy. <laughs> Except Tim Cook, of course. 95%. Not too bad. I'm Mother Nature's uh, Weasley little assistant. White guy, or maybe he's white. I don't know, maybe something else. But uh, looks like kind of like a white guy. But... Uh, Almost for sure not straight. That's my, that's my read on this guy. And if, uh, and if he is straight, you're definitely not going to know it. <laughs> also happy to report that we're investing in projects around the world that protect the Earth's soil, plants, and trees. <laughs> Everyone says they're planting trees. We've planted forests. Oh, hello. Where? Paraguay, Brazil. What, are you trying to save the tropical savanna? Yes. And we've also restored mangroves in Colombia. What else? Grasslands in Kenya. Why? Our aim is to permanently remove carbon from the atmosphere. Our aim is to permanently remove carbon from the atmosphere? You need carbon in the atmosphere. If, you, if there was no carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, everything would die. 
the entire planet, would, it would not be sustained. You couldn't live. There would be no plants. There would be no animals. We'd all, we would all die. I mean, it, even, even for a virtue signal that is absurd and ridiculous and silly and stupid, at least get something close to being factually correct or at least believable, permanently reduce carbon from the atmosphere. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, that, that part's just painful. What about your water usage? We've reduced it. By how much? 63 billion gallons. 63 million? Billion. <laughs> the, only, the only one that stands up to the uh, strong, fat, black woman, Mother Nature, is another strong, fat, black woman. Or maybe she looks a little bit like a Rachel Dolezal, like, uh, <laughs> like, like a strong, fat, white woman who has uh, tanned herself and curled her hair. But uh, I don't know, maybe she's Latino or something. Maybe she's like a quarter black. Uh, but in any case, she sort of reads as uh, something like a black woman. So a black woman against a black woman, that's the way you can do it. You, you certainly couldn't get uh, Tim Cook to say any of these points and like take Mother Nature down. You need, you need to be culturally sensitive and have, uh, have somebody of the same skin pigment. Otherwise, you're just a racist. Otherwise, it's just racist. How pathetic is that look of Tim Cook's? What's Mother Nature going to say? Does she approve of us? Are we carbon neutral enough? Are we sustainable enough? Are we are we environmentally friendly, Mother Nature? Please give us the stamp of approval. That that's the like messed up thing about this video. It's like it's like the ESG score, right? These companies they get this ESG score and they go, "Look, we've been approved by this group whatever it is." Uh, in, in order to pretend that we are, uh, you know, that we're saving the environment or something, and therefore you should invest with us and, and you should buy our products and all this kind of stuff. We get this stamp of rule. Well, Apple, this is a kind of clever little ploy here. They've gone, well, forget ESG, forget being approved by, I mean, we want that approval, of course, but we're going to create a video that educates the public on how environmentally friendly we are. And in fact, we're going to get the stamp of approval from Mother Nature herself in this video. So we're going to we're going to uh, create a fiction in which we have the environment itself approve us for being environmentally friendly. <laughs> look, look, the, look, world, look, world, we've been approved by the environment for being environmentally friendly. Yeah, no, no, no. We, I mean, yeah, we wrote the script and filmed the ad ourselves, but look, it ha it's real. This has happened. We're perfect. <laughs> Buy our products. I mean, okay, I do say this whilst wearing an Apple Watch, uh, so I am obviously mildly hypocritical, but you know what? Apple does make some damn good products, you know, and that should really be their primary selling point, not Mother Nature likes us. No, it should be, look, we make the best friggin' products, buy these. Th that's it. That's what it should be. I'm going to buy leather cases from a, somebody else, I guess. As you can see, we've innovated and retooled almost every part of our process to reduce our impact on the planet. But there's still a lot more work to do. And there's something else we wanted to share with you. <laughs> You're not trying to bribe Mother Nature with Apple swag. It's Apple's very first carbon neutral product. Hmm. I want to see you do more of this. You will. When? By 2030, all Apple devices will have a net zero climate impact. All of them? All of them. They better. They will. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the Mother Nature Tim Cook stare down. <laughs> this is weird, man. <laughs> okay, good. See you next year. Tim Cook won the stare down. Impressive. Don't disappoint your mother. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so... Okay. So anyway, that was lame. All right, look, I plan to do a bunch of videos on climate change. It's a difficult subject to do videos on for me because I obviously I want to get all my facts exactly right. And it's such a vast subject that I need to narrow it down into kind of specific digestible chunks. So I've had a little bit of trouble getting those videos, those scripts written uh, properly. 
So anyway, I'm going to do my own video. I'm going to take clips from other people's stuff. I'm going to take a bunch of like articles and consensus research uh, and look at it objectively and talk about maybe some of the things that other people haven't dug into, like global greening. I think global greening is something very important that nobody ever talks about. If you want to know more about it, you should look it up yourself because it's fascinating. And uh, warming the planet really isn't that bad. But uh, until I get those videos up, be sure to buy a few things from uh, you know my Teespring, like the Trump mugshot t-shirts uh, or the Trump mugshot coffee mugs. And as I said, it, this is the best design of the mugshot in existence. The link is, of course, in the description below. All right, well, that's it for me. And remember, it's not that our liberal friends are ignorant. It's just they know so much that is not so. Good night. I want to hear only, is it morally right? And on that basis and that basis alone, we make a decision on every issue.